Books with diverse characters are essential for all students. Did you know more than half of the nation's youth are children of color? Yet black, Hispanic, Asian, and Native American students, as well as students with disabilities and students as, who identify as LGBTQ+, are often overlooked in books. A new study from First Book Research and Insights found that students who had classroom libraries with diverse books had significantly higher reading scores, scoring three points higher than the nationally expected averages. To tell us more about this study, we're joined today by Kyle Zimmer, First Book's president and CEO. So Kyle, why did First Book conduct this research and what did the study find? Well, thanks for inviting me, Pete. I, uh, this was a really important study, but it's, uh, it's one of many over the past 30 years that First Book has uh, undertaken. Our mission is to elevate educational equity for kids in need. And um, towards that end, what we're always doing is researching through our community of 575,000 members. These are teachers and all kinds of educators and program people across the United States. And through this research, what we're trying to do is identify what are the challenges, what's working, what's not working. So what we learned through this study is what happens when you infuse high quality, diverse books into the classroom libraries? What happens to the kids' behavior and what happens to them academically? And the results are really compelling. So what are diverse books and why does representation matter in books? Well, relevancy matters, right? We all are inspired by stories, but when we see a story, when we read a book where we can feel ourselves, where we can see ourselves in the story, our cultures, our families, that's really powerful, especially for kids. In fact, in this study, what we did was we identified 450 classrooms across the country, and we worked with them over a six month period we infuse those classrooms, their libraries, with a new selection of beautiful, high quality, diverse books. And then we watched what happened. And the, the collective reading of the kids jumped by four hours per week. And their reading scores, as you noted in the introduction, jumped up by 3% over nationally uh, estimate over national estimates for reading scores during that time period. So we saw both an engagement response and we saw an academic response. So what does this study tell us about educator needs and the books their students value? Well, we've known for some time because of our educator network that they value diverse books. In fact, over 90% of the respondents from an earlier study uh, told us that uh, diverse books in their classrooms would be extraordinarily important to engaging the kids they are serving. And we knew that going into this, but we wanted to see what really happened on the ground in the classrooms. And when kids see themselves in those books, their interest level goes up, their engagement goes up, and the reading scores follow. All of that is critically important, but there are other components of this that are important too. For example, for kids to see other cultures, other races, other family structures, that is critical as well, because that means that those kids are going to be more empathetic. They're going to be better prepared to step out into this diverse country and the diverse world that we all share they'll be ready for it. And where can we go to learn more? Please go to firstbook.org. You can see the details on this study, and you can also uh, take a look at all the other wonderful things that we are doing across the country. Kyle, thanks for joining us today. Thanks so much, Pete. I really appreciate it.